Well, hello and welcome to another edition of Dubstar. So today what I'm going to do is I'm getting a bit bored of my silver paper here and I've wanted to do something with this for ages and ages and ages. So um, we're going to get involved with a little bit of matte black wrap and what I need to do first is I need to prep this thing because when we stick a wrap to it, firstly is anything that's in the paint already is going to show through the wrap. Now, it's an old van, so I'm not too worried about having a couple of little marks because we're going to hit those with graphics anyway. But I do need to get rid of any dust, dirt, and everything else because they've got bubbles in there. Ah, a bit of people forget. And so when you wrap and you wrap around corners, you also need to be cleaning all of these edges because they're covered in crap. So, oh my god. Right. This is just um, an ordinary sort of cleaning um, fluid, so I'm just hitting that right the way around. And some might think I'm a little bit rough and ready for doing it this way, but I am not going to be too worried about leaving a perfect surface there afterwards. So. I am just going to sand it off. But to be honest, with that, that cleaning fluid, it gets just about everything off. So that's all I really need because this wrap going over the top anyway doesn't really matter. And the wrap is only going to come into sort of just inside the edge there. So even then, bits and cleaning now it doesn't really matter. But you know, while you're there, might as well. Yeah. Right, so right round all of the edges here because when you're moving wrap right around you just don't know what it might just tack onto while you're doing something else. So if it goes onto a clean surface, it's not gonna pick any dust and crap up on the way. Through here, because that's the bit that is most likely to cause me a few problems. Now I have already run the sponge over. Yeah, so I'm just going to do it again. And then I'm going to hit it with the drawing part. So I'm going to top of the grill and around the badge and that as well, because again, when I lay the wrap on there, it might just touch that. So I just want to make sure it's not going to pick up any contaminants, just by me not doing this bit properly. can't tell you enough about the, the benefits of having a good drying towel because a decent one you can just run over once and you're pretty much there. Now obviously all those bits under the edges where they're just clean, it's to make sure they're all dry as well because the wrap does not stick. So there's not much sticks to water. Seems obvious, but a bit like paint. If you have a little bit of moisture there, you can ruin the whole job. So, do it now and then don't regret it later. So, the next thing I need to do is measure up the amount of material I want to use because I don't want to use more than is required because it just becomes a bit of a handful. So, hang up the drying towel again. Make sure your drying towels don't go on the floor. If you get it full of dust, then you're going to scratch it next time. You're going to scratch paint next time you use it. Right. Okay, who knows the width of the transporter? Not really relevant because we've also got that little wrapper on the edge so there's there's extra there that if that was flat it's going to come out to about here and then we need to wrap around that as well so it's actually wider than by 85, I'm going to go 
Sorry, just for a sec. One ninety by eighty five. There's an interlude. It's going to get hot in here pretty quickly. Firstly, because I feel warm myself. Secondly, because I need the temperature to be actually working around. Thirdly, because I'm going to be using a heat gun. Uh, do we need any other reasons to turn it on? Oh, yeah, the van's going to be hot. Here's an interesting question. That time where you know you had it, how many of you spent hours and hours looking for one thing? Not that thing. Right, so gimbal malfunction, camera fell off. I don't know how much of that first bit of the video we got there, but let's start again. So what I'm doing is putting some black wrap onto the front of my T5. Got a little bit bored of the silver. I've always liked the commercial bumpers. At the same time, I want to do something a little bit different. So this is what I'm doing here and now. So I'm going to take this camera out of here, this GoPro this mount thing that you're in, and. Um, <laughs> Oh, that doesn't like that. Power, power, power. Come on, off, 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 off. off. Oh, it's got a mind of its own. Right, maybe. Yeah, that's not so bad, is it? Sorry about this little thing here. We'll work that out for next time. Right. Clay bar lubricant I've put on there. I'm just going to hit this with the clay bar. Yeah, I can hear the bits. So I thought it was clean with the bits. Yeah. Disc, it's already 
for yourself. Uh, So the glove is to help me to smooth down the vinyl, but also to stop you from burning the pounds of it.
Okay, so that is Black Man on. Um, it should be quite smart, I've got a place with that, I've got doing boards or bubbles or anything else with it. I'm not going to mark myself when you bonk before, I can't do anything about it. So next job is to trim all of this off, wrap it around the corners um, and then cook it all in place. So yeah, pretty pleased with that so far. So bonnet up because now what I'm going to do is start wrapping around the edges. Yeah, because I don't, I don't really want to cut the edge because if I cut the edge and I'm giving them an opportunity for moisture and stuff to, to get under there and, and start lifting it away and all that. So if I wrap it around, then that's much, much less likely to happen and I can hide that silver completely because it's all tapped in under the bottom. Um, so, I need the heat down again because the only way I'm going to get this to actually wrap around nicely so it's quite a long part of the job for this because you've got to go around every little time you get and try and make sure this is a crease on the way around. 